infertility. That's an obstacle. That's huge. Yeah. Learning to share feelings. Learning to share feelings. Absolutely. Can I, can, this is great. You guys have a wealth of, of information and knowledge and experience that you're bringing to the room. What I want to do is I want to go back because I think that's a great segue, learning to share your feelings and going back to what Maggie said about communication. Well, this is a course on communication. So let me just tell you, that is not the only issue or obstacle clearly in a marriage. But, and I would dare say not just in a marriage, but in relationships, but communication is huge. Now, I happen to be someone who's worked in communication all my life, and I work for a large communication company. So communication is kind of a really, 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 really big deal to me. And that it's done well um, is a big deal as well. And I think sometimes in a marriage, um, I think sometimes, you know, we have people maybe feeling in the room right now, just around communication, feeling like, you know what, I, um, I can't express how I'm feeling. I just feel it. And other people are like, well, I just dump what I feel. I just tell them straight out, right? Whoever the person, it wants to call your spouse. Um, for others, they're like, I, I don't even know what I'm feeling. I never pay attention. And other people are like, I just, I just go by my feelings. I just keep, and that's really dangerous, by the way. Um, for some, you know, you sort of feel like my husband never talks, my spouse never talks, and other people feel like, well, heck, you know, um, that person never shuts up, can't get a word in edgewise. Um, so you have all, isn't it true? You have all this, this variety, this variety, and you can find yourself in that. You can find yourself in that, and then there's a whole plethora of other ideas around communication that, um, that cause for disconnection. <laughs> 